what's up beautiful people it's in Arama. welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video and it's titled lonely woman instantly regrets destroying 18 years of marriage wow also i'm excited to check this one out let's check it out to 18 years of marriage wow i've taken them off and they're not going back on i don't care if his so-called girlfriend or whatever she's calling herself these days sees this. I don't care who sees it. So just know I've moved on. I'm moving on. I'm going to be happy. I love my job and I'm going to do this. How you do? You know, I think it's kind of funny how um, I'm proud of how you handle disappointment. No and one from work has really checked on me. Welcome back, family. Today we are going to review this 54-year-old strong, independent woman who decided to divorce her husband so that she can explore life. Well, as usual, she was quickly humbled and greeted by the mighty wall with absolutely no mercy. Let's start by watching the day she decided to divorce. Well, today's the day. Um, I drove all the way to Arizona, from Arizona on my way to Marshall, Michigan, um, because my husband called me, who um, we hadn't been getting along for a while now, but um, came down with COVID. Me being a nurse, knowing the dangers, knowing the possibilities, and for him to call me. And I told him I would come. Okay. I would be there. I mean, I am still his wife. I do love him still, even the hell I've, I mean, he put me, he has put me throughout. And I do care. I'm not this cold hearted bitch that he makes me out to be. Um, so that was the last straw after telling me, you know, after I said, I'll come. And he said, I'll believe it when you show up. So, to 18 years of marriage, I've taken them off and they're not going back on. Wow. Not on this finger anyway. My emeralds, I love my emeralds. So, I will wear those, but I won't wear no more red and rings that you gave me. I'll just have them, the diamonds and the emeralds set in something else. Wow. It's, it's so shocking every time I watch videos or this type of videos of women who leave or left their marriage. And in the beginning clip, you saw where she broke down that nobody from her job has called her. Now, the point where people always feel like, oh, when I leave you, you're gonna be miserable is what i don't understand people should understand that marriage when it comes to marriage marriage is about accepting some you and someone else's flaws coming with the baggage and also working together to either helping each other complete each other or complement each other in the areas where they are lacking i don't know anybody who is going to get married who wants to get married that will say oh i want a complete package the person should not have flaws i also don't have flaws like we are all flawed regardless of how people want to paint it and i don't understand how these days we are getting so used to seeing people leave their marriage divorced and they all they make it look so cute that lots of people think it is okay to leave your marriage except there is abuse then the point where you want to leave your uh, partner because your partner is floored in a particular area is what i still don't get like there is no perfect human being we should all get that but yeah let's go on because i'm not giving them back to you to give to some trashy trailer trash wow because this woman's independent I can make my own money. Okay. And that's what you loved about me was the fact I was independent. I was a faithful military wife. 
after all them long ass deployments and don't say, I mean, I ain't all that, but I ain't ugly and I'm faithful. Hmm. There's a man out there who appreciate that even at my age, which he says at 50, uh, how long? Well, I'm 54. Wow. At 54, you'll never find anybody else. Well, you know what? I may not, but I don't need anyone else. And if I do, I'll choose him. This woman thinks that because she is independent, men will line up to be in a relationship with her. This is the big lie the media sold to women. Men and women value different things in True. relationships. True. Most accomplished men do not care about how independent you are. That's just called being an adult. This yeah. next clip will show you exactly how social media and single friends validate bad behaviors and push women to break their marriages so that they can all be miserable. Because we all know that misery loves company. Mm. I want to thank you all for the positive thoughts, reinforcement, the beautiful words, um, not too many negative ones. Of course. And... Uh, just know, I haven't made it home to Arizona yet. Uh, I actually made it to New Mexico. Uh, I've got to be in work, at work like in 12 hours. I hope I make it home. But anyway, um, I'm good. I'm good. I, um, I went to see an old friend who's um, I met in, while I was a wife and my husband was in the Marine Corps before he transferred to the army. Um, a really dear friend. And um, so I spent the last, I spent 36 hours there with her and it helped a lot. So, and reading your comments and, I don't care if he sees this, I don't care if his so-called girlfriend or whatever she's calling herself these days sees this. I don't care who sees it. Huh. So just know I've moved on. I'm moving on. I'm going to be happy. Okay, let me get this straight. She left, she left her marriage, 18 year old marriage. And now she is 54. Wait, let, let's just take away the age. The age don't matter because um, sometimes regardless of the age, most women think um they when they leave their marriage whatever then the grass is always greener on the other side when in real sense it is not yes of course the you we are always given the narrative that you would always find someone better when you leave one but sometimes just not all the case case just because you found someone or you saw on the internet someone left their husband and they got someone doesn't mean that every woman who's left their husband or left their marriage would get someone out there is very different for everybody and people should stop glorifying this or amplifying this thought that divorce has to be cute when in real sense nobody should we shouldn't be promoting it it scares other people who wants who look forward to getting married and this don't make sense yes you're a strong independent woman that is the reason why you in your own self you thought you don't need a man everybody regardless of how much you have or whatever you have everybody needs somebody you can't do it alone the media's narrative to tell you that you are strong independent woman therefore you don't need nobody that's a lie even the women who come out there or come, come out here to project it to you to tell you you don't need nobody check their life properly they've they got somebody but they only want you to be miserable so they complete their miserable lifestyle or WhatsApp group and fit you in. And that is the problem. It just, it, just, it just don't make sense. The point where she is here making the video, you don't care if, you, if he sees it. You care so much because if you don't care, you will not mention it. You care that it's got a girlfriend because if you don't care, you will not mention it. 
you would move on your life move or move on with your life without bothering what he cares or what he uh, thinks or whatever he watches but of course that's how life is we can't we can't be that but yeah let's go on i love my job and i'm gonna do this so keep me in your prayers okay She was not even sure that she was making the right call by leaving her husband. But now, because she got the validation she wanted from her comments, she thinks that everything is just magically going to work out. Mm. I strongly believe that most women really overestimate their sexual market value, and that is why they think that, by leaving their husbands, they will find something better out there. Let me show you what I mean. Hey, it's Thursday. I haven't quite made it to Arizona yet. I am driving across Texas right now, so hopefully I'll be in um, Arizona. I got 664 miles before I reach there. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to my new chapter in my life. Um, putting behind a lot of bad stuff, bad vibes. And at 54, I'm starting over, and um, it feels good. It feels really, really good. Um, but anyway, took a job out at the Navajo uh, Reservation in Pinyon, and um, we'll see what life has to offer out there. And uh, I'm going to make it good no matter what. So, anywho. So let me get this straight. Instead of keeping on working on your marriage, you decided to divorce your husband of 18 years at 54 over an argument and believe that you are going to find a better man than your husband. Hmm. You just can't make this shit up. She just posted this video where you see her with her husband and her niece camping and making jokes just a few weeks ago prior deciding to get a divorce. This proves that most of the issues these women complain about are usually fixable if they have the will to make the marriage work. Instead, the prefer to leave because they think that they can do better than their husbands. But when reality hit hard and loneliness settle in, they start to complain and cry on the internet. Check it out. Well, if the narrator here said it that she left her marriage because over an argument she had with her husband, there are exceptions to which people can leave their marriage and abuse is one of them. It's not a reason to stay to say, oh, the man is going to change. But over an argument, what were, were people expecting or what were you expecting if when he gets into, when he got married, that is always going to be in the good days. There would come to a time where there are bad days. There will come to a time where you and your partner would not always agree. And that is where the both of you would accept each other. There is no wrong or right, especially in marriage. People compromise. Check out, ask tons of people who's got, who's been married for a long time and ask them the golden rule. And they will tell you, lots of them compromise. This is not a 50-50 marriage thing. It depends on the person. Some people is 70, 30, some people 60, 40, some people 30, 70, 65, 45. It's not always 50, 50. It is on rare cases. I don't even know how many marriages work with 50, 50. In marriage, you can't always be at 100%. It is not possible. And that is why you have a partner to fill in the times you're not always at 100 percent there are tons of people who is thought that there are other men out there if my partner doesn't want me therefore i've got i just gotta leave or probably my my partner said this thing and i don't like it then i leave i always say this and i'm just gonna say it again people who get into marriage and think that somewhere down along the line their partner when they, their partner offends them they're gonna leave marriage is not for children it's not a children's game it's not like relationship where you get angry and you get up and leave or you pack your bags and you move out it's for adults it's for those who are ready to get or communicate the most difficult talks or talk about the most difficult situation and the likes you talk things through 
rather than just wake up and get up and leave. It's not for children because that is what children do. Wow. We keep seeing this on and on and on and on and on and we keep getting tons of women who would come online and share their experiences and say they left their husband because of the filthiest, tiniest thing is done. And be like, oh, there is a limit. I can't compromise. You're not there in the marriage to be a perfect human being. You did not marry the person because the person is a perfect human being. You saw the flaws. You got married because of a reason. Not because you thought you were a perfect human being and the person you married to, you got married to, is a perfect human. There is no perfect human on earth. And that's just the case. That's just it. But yeah, let's go on. Get out. Hmm, so... Drinking the Irish whiskey. <laughs> and done off. I just don't feel like making anything. Let it burn, baby, burn. Either way, the whiskey's gonna burn or the hot Cheetos are. Anyway, I'm gonna go take a long hot shower. Get ready for tomorrow. See what kind of shit I have to put up with tomorrow. Damn. Oh, God, I'm ready to retire. I am. I am burnt out on nursing. I'm. You guys remember when she said that she will be fine because she loves her job? Well, now she is out here complaining like a kid that no coworker is even checking up on her when she is lonely. How you, do. you know, I think it's kind of funny how um, I'm proud of how you handle disappointment. No you one from work has really checked on me, except for the, the travelers, a few of the travelers. I'm proud kind of, of your view of life. Ma'am, you had a whole family that you decided to leave behind, and now you want your co-workers to keep you company. You just can't make this shit up. Guys, now her whole life is based on adopting cats so that they can keep her company. Just sad. Good afternoon, TikTokies. Um, I took a little nap, had a rough morning, had physical therapy. Well, I wake up to this. I got some sleeping, napping partners. And one even down there. Yeah. Fellas, invest in cat and dog food because this looks like the fate of a lot of modern women. I personally do not have any sympathy for women like her who decide to break their families just because they want to experience something new, then come back crying on the internet when everything goes left. And you shouldn't have any sympathy either, but instead you need to keep your head up, focus on your goals and everything else will follow. I love you and I appreciate you for all your support. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share to help push this content to more men in need. I'm out. Peace. Wow. Okay, she got the cats. Good. Cute. Now, coming here to mention to say she loves her job, but she uh, can't wait to retire. No one from her job has checked up on her lady you see this right here this is the problem lots of people always like they want this they like seeking attention from people and i just don't get it people don't understand that when you say strong independent woman you like you said you don't need nobody then all of a sudden you need somebody your or your colleagues or your co-workers to check up on you what was her plan when she got up or thought she was leaving a marriage she thought it was gonna be cute that somebody is gonna be out the other side to receive her it's not always the case some people are lonely when they leave their marriage and that is mostly the case but of course some people don't want to face reality that's just sad but yeah, all I've just got to say is for women who think they want to leave their husband because they had a, an argument with their husband or 
they got bored of their marriages because I've seen tons of videos of tons of people who left because they are bored of their husband or their marriage and all and not ready to fix it or not ready to do anything about it because they always think the grass is greener on the other side. Fun fact is the grass is not always greener on the other side and marriage is not a one size fits all. People get married because to complement the their partner because you've accepted your partner's flaws to f correct to complement them in the areas they are lacking the exact same goes with you nobody should go into marriage to think that they are meeting the perfect human being or there's a perfect human being out there they don't want anybody who's got flaws they don't want anybody who will not have bad days they also because they don't have bad days it's not always the case it's really sad to see this woman like this and also to see that other people will see this and get up and leave just because they think it is cute cute and this is what lots of people say old and miserable and die alone with your cat this right here is it i hope she finds somebody new or i hope she finds fulfillment or she finds something good doing with herself rather than just coming here to to make it or paint it that she's living a happy life because lots of people will see this and think she's living a happy life or she's happy people should not come out to say that um, the grass is always greener on the other side except you're going out with your own paint or your green paint to paint the grass to look green but don't always think that the grass is always greener on the other side because it's not always green but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below, what are your thoughts about this so far. I really love your honest contribution to this. You can share your other useful information you think might be really helpful. You can also share your experiences if you've got one. I really love to read from you and also other people might want to hear from your own experience as well and pick some of the lessons as well. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time, see you in the next video.